Secretary to the President Austin Fernando making a special statement to media yesterday on the restrictions placed on disclosing the report. Compiled by the Commission of Inquiry which probed the bond scam said that the complete report can be provided upon advice of the Attorney General and the Bribery Commission. I have made a written request to the Attorney General seeking advice. If he asks me to release all the information, I will. Campaign for free and fair election in the meantime wrote to the Speaker today, requesting all the annexers of the bond inquiry report or at least the document they are seeking for to be published. The letter says that all the annexers of the bond inquiry report have so far only been seen by the Bribery Commission and the Secretary to the President. Therefore, it says it is absurd that the person with access to the documents seeking specific numbers, names and descriptions of the documents requested. It added, had the document C-350 that was requested on the 18th of January this year been published, the public would have had the chance to voluntarily help in the investigations. The letter therefore requests that the full bond inquiry report or at least document C-350 be published. The President Secretary is taking us on a right. The issue here, only the Bond Commission members and the Presidential Secretariat have read the full report and not a single person has read the full report. One cannot deny that the Presidential Secretary deliberately tried to put this under the Archives Act and prevent these documents to be opened. Austin Fernando is having these documents in his hand. He showed some of these annexes. So he should explain explain why he is not giving it, why he is passing the ball to the archives uh, directly general. We were really surprised by the way um, Mr. Austin Fernando behaved on this. We are dealing with the highest public officer of the country. Once we requested it, they try to cover it up. Their words are not the real deal. That is the issue about it. Meanwhile, convening a media briefing, the National Alliance for Lawyers Association also made a request to the Attorney General pertaining to the matter. Attorney General is a position of responsibility in this country. We request him not to protect these thieves since he will be disgraced in the end. We saw that during the last few days, parliamentarians said that receiving political donations are normal. Is receiving money from a thief normal? In the meantime, the political arena was lit up today with comments on the list of 118 parliamentarians alleged to have received money from the owner of Perpetual Treasuries Limited, Arjun Aloysius. When there is an election, businessmen often arrive and give money. It is not a big deal. He visited me and gave me 100,000 rupees. And at that time, I had never seen him before. I told that to the media even before anybody asked. We have never partied with Arjun Aloysius and have never accepted money from him. We request the secretary to the president to reveal the names of those 118 individuals.